Hi, welcome back to Shave with Fuzzer. I'm Fuzzer. How y'all doing today? Hope everything's going good for you. Everything's going good here. Saturday afternoon, I'm working Saturday night as an extra shift this week. Piece of cake. Can't believe they're actually going to pay me to do that. So if everything goes good, it'll be great. And it will. So a couple of pieces of news today. Number one, I'm coming to you live from a different phone. Uh, Agent 00 Devin got him a new phone and I got his old iPhone. So I'm back in the iPhone business after being in the Samsung business for a while. Doesn't matter to me, phone's a phone. And, uh, but this camera's supposed to be better, so we're going to see how it looks and how it sounds and if everything's better or not. Might be. Speaking of Agent 00 Devin, he's over today and uh, he's got some cooking going on, so the house has got a really nice smell. He's uh, making a roux to smother down some pork chops. Actually, sirloin pork steak, but, uh, you know, whatever you want to call those. So, there we go. So, shaving today. We're going to get around to it. And we got a little little bit of a beard to get off there, so we can work tonight. It's a home game for LSU today, so traffic outside is stupid. I'm hoping all those people get in and get parked so that when I go to work, I don't have to fight stupid traffic. <sighs> people are crazy. They got these uh, rickshaws that they carry people in and out of the game, and they're white lining running between the cars going down the road if you wonder what white line it is and it's just all kind of crazy stuff but the parking everybody just literally parks everywhere every yard has got people out with a sign up park here pay me 10 15 bucks and you can park in my yard i would go find somebody that's on vacation and park a bunch of current cars in their yard <laughs> yeah boy that's what i should do but i didn't too lazy but anyway so the other day somebody mentioned that uh I hadn't used red tip in a while, so we're going to bring out the old red tip today. I'm a little, uh, you know, I didn't remember what side of the camera was on here, but anyway, we're going to bring out the old red tip today. It was compliments of a fine fella here from YouTube, and uh, of course you know it's the butterfly, and it's got both end caps on this one. This is actually, it's got some faded paint on the red, but that was, uh, you know, that's pretty normal stuff. I don't think that's anything unusual. It doesn't affect the shave. And uh, of course the, uh, the red tip was uh, Gillette's heavy duty super speed and uh so it's uh i think heavier heavy duty whatever i don't know what's different between them from the regular one razor razor blade to blade i get a good shave out of it that's all i care about now for blades i think these are wilkerson swords that i picked up at walmart or something like that but they say super chrome blades on it and i don't know anyway it's a sharp blade it'll shave just great blade to blade who cares so that's what we're going to use today. So we're going to take them and put it in there. We'll twist everything down nice and tight. Always give a check. Even on razors, I'm pretty sure about that everything is nice and lined up. So we're going to finish things up today with the veg. You can go ahead and start with I hate the veg threads and, uh, you know, keep the bears off and everything else. You know, take rust off trailer hitches. Whatever. Sorry you're not chosen. If you're chosen, the veg is great. Fuzzy's chosen. So we're going to use a uh, synthetic brush today. We're actually going to use the 2018 Toast Limited Edition that was, uh, of course, made by Jayara and, and T. White. And it's got a nice little synthetic knot in there. I thought I was going to be a huge fan of synthetic brushes when I started using them. And they're good. They're, 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 there's not any real problems with them. But uh, eh, they're not going to replace my, my real brushes. Uh, I don't have a whole lot of issues that you're having to kill the poor little badgers to get hair from them. Badgers are rodents and a lot of places they're just an infestation and uh, I don't have that problem. But uh, anyway, so pig and horse, good brushes also, badger. I probably use pig more than anything. I like it, so that's going to be. Now for our soap today, somebody had mentioned this here the other day. I don't remember who, I don't remember where I saw it, but this is the old palm olive. This was U.S. made palm olive. It's green. Uh, it's just got a soapy smell to it, but it's a very good cream. I think I've actually got a whole another full tube of this packed away. And so far, it hadn't gone rancid. It hasn't changed scent. Some people would say it had a rancid scent to start with, but, you know, some people say whatever. But uh, anyway, it's a really nice cream, and uh, I think we'll give it a go today. So, it started here. You know, you don't have to soak a synthetic brush. Soaking a synthetic brush is kind of like, you know, flipping blades and some of the other silly things people do. But, uh, you know, I hear that every once in a while, well, you know, I like to soak it to warm the bristles up. 
Okay. Whatever. They're going to be cold the instant you take them out. To make the bristles, you got to warm up. The lather. Got a brush cuddle for that. All right. So anyway, here we go. Making all this noise. So we're going to get a brush a little bit damp. It don't take a lot of damp, especially with a uh, synthetic brush. And what we're going to do is, with the synthetic here, we're going to put the cream just right down in the center of the brush. Doesn't take a whole lot of it. And I don't know when, I don't remember where I got this cream, when I got this cream. I used to have one in a metal tube, and I sent that one to someone. Tom, did I send it to you? Maybe. I can't remember that. But I sent it to somebody, but it was a vintage soap that you really have a hard time finding. You know, I like sharing stuff. I've got, I've got stuff around here that you really can't get anymore. I've even got a bottle of, uh, where'd it go? Check this out. Skin Bracer Cool Spice. How many of you remember it? Apparently it was short-lived. And there's a reason for it. It's really not that great a thing. It's just neat because you can't get it anymore. I got one of those new in the package. It's still got the plastic wrapper on it. Would it ever be worth anything? Eh, probably not. I mean, if it was... <laughs> If it was anything anybody really liked, it'd still be around, right? There's that. All right, well, we're going to get us some shaving cream going here with the palm olive, U.S. made palm olive. Like I said, it's green in the tube, and it's just got kind of a soap smell to it. It's not a, not a real fabulous thing. I think I may have been a bit, a little bit stingy. Let's put a little bit more cream than that on. I think I, uh, I think I was a little stingy with my cream. And you get some of this stuff that they're not making anymore, and you just get the feeling that you need to just save it. And I don't really see the point in that. I don't see the point in keeping something and using so little of it that it doesn't really function properly so that you can use it longer. Okay, you're going to use a, a longer, but it's not going to function properly. And it just doesn't make any sense. There was a... Uh, I read an article one time, a story or something. Don't even remember where now. There was a World War II POW, and when he would get a red package tear across in, apparently every once in a while they'd have coffee in them. And he said a lot of the guys would make thin coffee and weak coffee just so their coffee would last longer. He said he didn't do that. When he made coffee, he made a full-blown cup of coffee and uh, enjoyed it a whole lot. And maybe he didn't get to enjoy as many cups but he got to really enjoy the cups he did. And uh, I've always remembered that story. And that's kind of how I am on some of this stuff around here that I have that you really can't get anymore. I'm going to enjoy it the best I can till it's gone. In which case, we'll do something else, right? All right. So, you know, the big secret to shaving with a super speed, you know the big secret, right? The big secret is there is no secret. It's a razor. You shave like you do with other razors. But these aren't bad for two-sided thingies. I've got my uh, grandfather's 1957 flare tip, just a regular flare tip super speed. And it's always great to break that out and have a family shave. I've got some other razors that were family razors, as a matter of fact. Folks that are, uh, have watched my channel for a while have probably heard me talk about that or seen me shave with them. But uh, super speeds do a fine job. There's nothing wrong with a super speed. I even have one of the Lady Gillettes, which is what I would describe as a uh, long handle super speed. And I can honestly say that uh, if you're a guy, if you're thinking you don't want to shave because it's got Lady in the name, you're missing out. It is a wonderful shaving two sided thingy. Yeah, if you're a fan of two sided thingies, then uh, the Lady Gillette. It's a very good razor. Don't let the uh, name throw you off. And if we always say when we get into these discussions, there's long handle, short handle, heavy handle, light handle. I don't think it affects the shave any at all. I like mine to balance. Don't matter where the head balances. It really doesn't. Any little differences like that, your technique will take care of. Trust me on this one. But Anyway, so if you do happen to be someone that likes a long handle and you think the super speed has too short a handle for you, get a Lady Gillette. Long handle super speed. I like it. I've got several razors, as a matter of fact, that are 
were marketed towards the ladies. The hussy, the H1, the, uh, what do they call that? Now, I'm not going to be able to remember the name of what they called that one. Someone will remember it for me. And then uh, what we call the H2, the Deb, was marketed towards women. I don't know if that's supposed to be the Deborah or the debutante, but the Deb is what it was advertised as. And it was, uh, you know, advertised for the ladies. But both of those, one, they shave really nice once you get used to the grill. Two, they're chick injectors, so again, really nice. And they make really good travel registers. They're really easy to travel with. I don't travel with one. I've got my uh, my regular travel kit I carry. But all right, come across the grain under here. Notice we don't make buttercream, and I say this in a lot of videos because I still keep running across people that think to have a great shave, you have to have thick, luxurious, you know, lather. And uh, all you're doing is making extra lather and scraping it off because the top layer of the lather once you get enough on that you've got a good coating and it's good and slick and it's protecting and it's taking the cuttings away all you're doing on top of that is just add the layers that you're going to scrape off they do absolutely nothing in my opinion for the shave Everything on these videos, I guess I might start doing a uh, disclaimer. Everything on these videos are Fuzzy's view. Fuzzy's opinion. You know, there's two opinions in this world. There's Fuzzy's and the wrong one. But anyway, on this channel, that's how it is. There we go. Nice two-pass shave going on here. Notice we're taking our time. Wish we had smell-o-vision, because this uh, apartment is smelling good right now. But look at there. We got us a nice little shave going on. Dry all this off and get us some witch hazel out. You know, the Saturday night shift at the back gate at the plant, not a whole lot going on. Sometimes you'll have a, a truck come in that's delivering uh, some kind of a feed stock or uh, some kind of a refrigerant or something that, that uh, you know, that we get along. You run them up on the scale, you print out the scale ticket, they know where they go, they know what they're doing, they come back out, they jump up on the scale, you finish the scale ticket, you give them a copy, and they're out the door. And they pay me to be there. Not only do they pay me to be there, they're going to pay me overtime by the time it's over with to be there. Can you believe that? Can you believe it? Believe it, it's true. All right. Let's do our little normal touch-up pass. So I heard a guy one time, just, you know, I've been in this game a while. Matter of fact, I was looking on January 20th, which is what, less than two months away, uh, Toast to turn eight years old. And I was already online in the shave forums before that. So I hear a lot of things. But anyway, I heard someone saying that they only use one side of the blade at a time. They always use the same side all the way through the shave. The next shave, they'll use the other side all the way through the shave. That way they can stretch their blades out. And then they take them out and they turn them over and they use the other two sides. Ain't that the biggest bunch of bull feathers you've ever heard? It is. But, yeah. Some people believe in Bigfoot, too. I'm telling you, I ain't making it up. I've seen the TV shows. Ain't that so? So anyway, <laughs> tonight LSU is going to be playing Texas A&M, and we've already whooped the socks off of uh, Ordinary Shavers, you know, state team. Now we'll whoop the socks off of the, we'll see, maybe we'll whoop the socks off of the uh, team where he lives there, maybe or that area. Yes, yeah, sir. Sure. Maybe that's going to happen. All right. I don't know if he roots for Texas A&M, though. I doubt he does, even though he's somewhere in that part of the world. I doubt he does. He'll let me know. No problem at all. All right, so that's what we got for a shave today. One thing we got left to do is to pile on a little bit of the veg. Now, I understand the veg is love it or hate it. A lot of people just love to hate it. But uh, if you're chosen, and I am, the veg is great. 
doesn't really make me feel like I ride in the Hungarian cavalry. Uh, that's what I've always heard the base was actually made for, was for uh, the Hungarian cavalry. But anyway, it's still nice. So there we go. That's what we got. So well, y'all have a good afternoon wherever you are. And uh, we're going to be getting some rain in tonight, supposed to. So that'll slow the night down a little bit more. I'll be playing with my phone here, trying to figure all the settings. And it's going to be a while since I used an iPhone. Hopefully I can get it uploaded to uh, YouTube without any problems. But there we go. You have a great night. Remember, fellas, gals, guys, gals, y'all, wherever you are, whoever you are, whatever you're doing, happy shaves to you.